Hello, I'm going to try to keep this quick. Um, I was going to share this just on uh, Facebook, but I decided to share this on uh, YouTube as well. I think it's important. Um, I just got back from California from the NAM show. Um, NAM is North American Music something or other. But it's a huge sh show, actually. It's actually bigger than the auto show. I think it's attended by uh, 130,000 people in uh, Anaheim, California. And uh, I just, you know, I try to learn a lesson every day. Uh, so I went out there, to be honest with you, I was overwhelmed um, by the size. And um, I went before, but I didn't do the whole thing. This time I did the whole thing. And um, a lot of young men uh, and older men and, and uh fans or whatever um, asked me for autographs and pictures. I probably took over 30 to 40 pictures. I was overwhelmed. You know, they knew me from, you know, YouTube, uh, from my videos and my Instagram and all of that, from the drum videos and the bass videos and all of that. But, um, you know, this one young man came and I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the picture. Uh, this is him. He um, he was almost in tears it was like he was like like I made his day just by acknowledging him and uh, giving him some time. And what I want to talk about today is like I see some of uh, the musicians out there, you know, you might have played for somebody big or whatever and you walking like you're on a cloud. And I see your fans, you know, these young men and young women that really look up to you. And I see you walk by them. And it's, it's, it's just crazy, you know, how selfish some people are. I mean, shouts out to uh, Calvin Rogers. But I watched him take his time and literally speak to everybody, sign every autograph and take every picture. You know, Calvin didn't just get this way. He was always this way. Uh, um, uh, people like Calvin Rogers, you know, Rex Hardy, those guys are uh, uh, down to earth guys play for some of the biggest acts on the on the planet. But they're really down to earth guys. And so shouts out to them. So I just want to encourage anybody that's listening to me. You never know how much you mean to someone else. Um, um, I remember meeting my idol. Yeah, I have an idol. My idol in the music world was Stanley Clark, you know, and Stanley just, you know, from the from the 70s and 80s, I was a, a fan of his. But he just showed me so much love and, and, and time when when we just kicked it and talked, you know, like I was a normal person. And Verdeen White, same thing from Earth, Wind and Fire, you know, so we have to look at especially the younger generation and know that we can make or break their spirit, you know? So if you see somebody with something nice on, hey, tell them, hey, that's a nice, that's a nice jacket, dude, or that's a nice uh, skirt, or that's, that's a, gentlemen, you gotta be careful with that nice skirt stuff. But what I'm saying is, somebody got their hair done, pass them a compliment. That might be the only compliment that they get all day or all week. You don't know what they're going home to. So get, out of your selfish ways, some of you people, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but get out of your selfish ways and just make somebody's day. You know, it just takes literally seconds to make somebody's day. And as long as I live, I'll be making somebody's day. That's just my DNA. That's my nature. Excuse me, I'm a little congested, but that's my nature. If I can, I don't care if I'm at the restaurant I don't care if I'm at the gas station. If I can make somebody's day just by a quick word, I'm going to do it because you never know. That might be the only love that they're shown all day long. Right. Love, peace and soul people. And uh, I sound like Don Cornelius from Soul Train. <laughs> but I just want to say, hey, we can all do a better job at loving and caring for others. And for for goodness sakes. Get out of your selfish ways and make somebody's day. There is a thousand opportunities every single day, right? Live, love, laugh, and learn.